Catharsis Pandemic Theater is possible through the generous support of our audience and patrons. You can support us by subscribing to this channel or going directly to cattheater.com and hitting the donate button. Thank you. Well, hello there. Just getting into Bethlehem? Well, welcome to the city of David. Here for the census, I assume. Well, we'll put you somewhere. As you can see, we're wall to wall with people, but we find a place for everybody the best we can. In fact, last night, we had to find a place in our stable for a young couple, bless their hearts. And wouldn't you know, she's pregnant and had her baby last night. All I can manage to do is shoo the animals out and put clean hay in the manger for her to lay her newborn in. Bless their hearts. But Mary, good girl, took it all in stride and just bore with it. And the baby was born and it, it was truly miraculous like all newborns are. But the amazing thing happened a short while after. Arriving at our doorstep with this whole huge group of shepherds. And at first I thought they came to spend the night, but what about their sheep? They had left their sheep out in the field and they came in to see the baby. I said, what do you mean? And they sort of hem and hawed and found they said, well, we came to see the baby lying in a manger. I said, how did you know we have a baby lying in the manger? Because... Well, this group, this choir, this heavenly host, angels, somebody said, angels had told them that we had a baby here lying in a manger. And I said, what are you talking about? What's going on out in the field with your sheep? They said, suddenly this angel appeared to them and said, fear not, because of course you have to say that, because wouldn't we all be afraid if we saw a heavenly being? Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born in the city of David, Bethlehem, a baby, which shall be the savior for all people. And he's in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And, they, and how they knew that, I have no idea, but they came. And they wanted to see the baby, so I'd let him in. And they did the most amazing thing. They knelt down and worshiped the baby. Now, we don't worship people, but they did. Because this baby is our savior, which means our Messiah. I always expected our Messiah to come in a big white horse and chase all these Romans away, our oppressors, and bring, restore peace into us. Not a tiny baby wrapped in, well, all the cloths that I could find, lying in a manger that's usually used to feed the animals. In my humble stable, would that really be our savior? But the shepherds were convinced. And they said the star was a sign too because this star is so bright over us now. Surely it means something. So I've decided I'm going to watch and see if I hear about this baby as long as I live to see signs that indeed he is our savior. He is our Messiah. I'm not sure if I believe a bunch of ragtag shepherds, but if a heavenly host appeared to them and they knew he was here, there must be something to it, don't you think? Well, come on in. I'll get you settled. You're going to sleep on the floor. It's going to be with the people you don't know. Well, if you get a chance, step on down to the stable and check out this baby. It just might change our lives forever. Good night. Thank you.